everyone. Welcome back to your favorites from March of 2019. That would be just a few days ago. Um, hope your March went well. So here's how this works. If you haven't seen this before, I go back and look at the month's analytics. Um, all the little affiliate links that you click kind of gives me some information on what you are interested in hearing about. Others, not so much. And I have broken down the top five in beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle. Lifestyle really being the category that I don't really know where to stick it, so I'm putting it in there. And it also gives me the opportunity not just to share what you're interested in, what the most of you are interested in, but also some feedback and some updates on some of the products. Maybe they're on sale already, maybe they're sold out and I found something better. Maybe I recommended something that I don't like so much, which has happened with sheets, which we're gonna talk about. Um, so in any case, let us just jump on in with beauty. So the first one is, this is everywhere as it should be. This is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer that is covered in my hair. And um, a bunch of you noticed that I chopped a few inches off. It's not super short, but it's definitely shorter and this still works great. I can wrap it around the barrel. I'd say two or three, well, let's see. I can wrap it probably two times around the barrel. I don't wanna mess up, I just curled my hair. Number two is the Mineral Liquid powder foundation, broad spectrum SPF 15, that I found through my sister-in-law that is on Amazon. I have it in the shade Linen. I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, I'm wearing it today. It's just a beautiful satin finish, easy to put on. I prefer using it with like a flat top kind of buffing brush, and um, coverage is beautiful and buildable, and I like it. It does not play well, though, with quite a few primers. Um, you know how there's some foundations that you can mix, like to me, IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which is technically not a foundation, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear are two face products that I feel you can mix with other face products and they play beautifully with them. They don't get patchy or um, pilly or anything like that. This is not one of them, so if you're wearing this, wear it with no liquid underneath. I mean moisturizer, but. Another foundation I found that doesn't mix well with others is, but I still absolutely love it, and apparently so do you, is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I have it in the shade Fair Light. It's a beautiful, glowy, radiant foundation with excellent, I'd say medium to full coverage, buildable, um, but I tried wearing it, I tried mixing it with the Peach Perfect Matte Foundation and with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation to, to just tone down the dewiness. It, didn't mix well. So this is another one I would definitely keep by itself. You haven't seen me talk about this as much lately or wear it in um, the description boxes because as I am speaking to you right now, I am on my way home from the Reward Style Conference and I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of it because this is the foundation that, well, I'm filming this before I leave for the conference, so I'll speak in present time where I am. Some weird time-space continuum sometimes when you make these videos. Anyway, um, my plan is to wear this every day in the conference, so I didn't want to run out before then. So that's why I'm hoarding it. Next is what is on my lips. This is the Lancome Lapsalu Lip Lacquer in the shade Shine Manifesto. It's a warm pink, but it, it's a little bit of a chameleon because I'm wearing it with a very coral top, which we will talk about soon, and it goes well. You'd think pink and coral would clash. It's working. I keep saying I'm gonna buy more shades. I bought one that's actually, actually the gloss, not the lip lacquer the Nuit Jour, which I do really love, and I still feel like it has amazing staying power for a gloss, but now that summer's around the corner and I want some brighter shades, I think I'm gonna actually get, there's one that's this color, I'm gonna get that next, because why not? And then the last beauty type product, it's skincare that you all very much enjoyed, was actually recommended by Dr. Dre. I'm sure you all, if you're not watching her, go watch her. She, I like just how she breaks down the science behind skincare, it's quite interesting. Um, this is the Hadalabo, let's just say cleansing oil because I don't know what the rest of it is called. It's a Hadalabo oil cleanser. You get it on Amazon. It's great. I've been using it. Skin likes it. It's my first step in cleansing. And then I go on with my radiant cleansing balm. There you go. From Colleen Rothschild to finish the job. That was beauty. Let's get on to clothing. If you're wondering, I printed it all out. So this is the first thing. This was the number one pick from you, my lovely viewers, for March of 2019. And this is from Anthropology. Unfortunately, it is sold out. It is gone. They had a sale, gone. But when I was looking it up, I noticed there is a new top that's actually, it can't be new, because as I'm filming this, it is also on sale. It is hopefully still available by the time this goes up. And it's more of a, it's not coral, but it's the same company, it's the same material, same neckline, and it's a brighter pink 
shade and there's also a light blue shade and um, I think it's $39. It's in the 30s. It's a really good price point for Anthropology, and the brand, I can't remember the exact brand. I'll put that in the description box. I'm, an, I'm a fan of this brand. It's casual, comfy, but not, the word I'm thinking of is schlubby, which is a Yiddish word, but it's not frumpy. There you go. So check that out if you're looking for lounge casual wear that's still cute and has fun colors and just a little bit different than just throwing on an oversized tee. Okay, next, I'll just throw in a picture. It's the women's drape front blazer from Walmart. And the reason I'm not holding it up to show you is I've already started packing for the Reward Style Conference and that is one of the things that is coming with me. It's a beautiful blazer. It's, um, I actually took it, I ordered it online. Most of the stuff I talked about in that Walmart fashion haul is online only, which is really annoying. Um, but they have so much more. It's kind of like Nordstrom. There's so much more online than in store. So. When it came to the house, all folded up in a little bag inside a box. I'm like, great, got to steam this before the video. No, pulled it right out and it was ready to go. It, I don't know that it doesn't wrinkle, but it would take a lot to make this wrinkle. It also comes in black. I, it is called a drape print blazer and I like how it drapes and I like the angle of the pockets and I've been wearing it a lot. I'm just running around, throwing it over a t-shirt, kind of like more of a jacket layer in the spring and might have to go get the black one. I don't reach for black as often, but maybe if I had something cute like that, I would. Okay, the second, third, third most favorite item from March of yours were these, the slip-on espadrilles from Walmart by Circus by Sam Edelman. That is a mouthful. And there's not much more to add to it other than these are amazing and these are my go-to shoes, just all the time. I love that they're flats, but they have a pretty thick sole, so it gives me a little more height. I'm just under 5'4", so I'm always looking for a little more height. And I really, really like these. And the colors, I mean, I went with the basic natural linen, but there's so many cute options online. Very, very cute. Since we're on the topic of shoes, this bad boy. So this is the Walmart version of the Treasure and Bond Espadrille from Nordstrom. And I actually saved a highlight on my Instagram stories if you wanna see where I compared and contrasted both of them up close and personal. This shoe is like 1998 and the Nord, let's just say 20. And the Nordstrom one is 80, I wanna say. So yeah, there's a $60 price difference. And the big difference is that this is not leather. And why that is a big difference is one that makes the cost a lot different, but also it's not as soft. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but it's, you know, it's not leather. So it's not as soft as leather. And so it's just, I've had no issues with rubbing here or here, any he bit here, but I have had some issues rubbing on the strap to be perfectly honest. So I went back to Walmart based on many of your suggestions and I picked this up. This is moleskin padding. It's just, it feels like felt. It's super, super soft. It has an adhesive back and my plan is to just cut it to fit and put it inside the strap here and here where it rubs and we're good to go. So this was maybe, I don't know, two or three dollars. So now we're up to about $23 before tax. That being said, I am still a fan of the Nordstrom wedges. The color is a little bit lighter and obviously there's a lot softer. So straight from the store you can wear it and you're not going to have to worry about blistering but $80 shoes aren't in everybody's budget. So I just want to be completely transparent on, other than that, they weigh the same. One is not heavier than the other. There's a slight teeny tiny difference only if you hold them right up in the pattern and the soles are exactly the same. So I just wanted to get that out there for you. And then the last most popular clothing type item was the flag tee that um, I got in my Walmart haul also. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. That picture was really, really fun to take, except that that horse was getting real close as I was taking those pictures and he was kind of freaking me out. Um, the reason I'm not holding that up is because it is in the wash because I just wore it and I absolutely love it and I'm be wearing it not just for holidays like Memorial Day and the 4th of July and Flag Day, although that will come in handy for those days, but just because it's a cool shirt and I really like the bright pop of color um, that the love it has on it in like that red velvet. It also comes, I think, in white and gray maybe? So check those out, $10, $10. Okay, let's get on to accessories. So back to shoes, these, very hard to see in this kind of light. These are the no tie shoelaces that I put in my Madewell shoe so that I can wear these as more of a slip on and I don't have to deal with 
tying shoes and it's just a sleeker look. I got these on Amazon. They come in a ton of colors. They're silicone, but they are, they do look and kind of feel like real laces. So check those out if you don't want to have to deal with tying shoes. Also, if you have little kids who can't tie their own shoes, they come in kid sizes. So the second most popular item in accessories was this guy. This giant straw bag, which is just fabulous. And I have to say, I don't know if I talked about it in the haul or in the, um, the shoe and purse haul or in the Walmart video, but it is really, it feels really strong. Like I don't think anything's gonna come poking through out of this cause it's all lined, woo. Okay, cause it's all lined and just super user friendly. And I have to say, I went back to Walmart just to do regular shopping as I do. And I popped into the clothing area. I did pick up two more items, which I'll talk about them more when I actually wear them and I can give you some feedback. I got a really cute t-shirt and I got a really nice like French Terry heavier weight t-shirt material dress. Anyway, um, but when I was in there, I ran into a woman who was buying up every single straw bag they had in there. Um, there's quite a few at some really good price points because she thought they'd make really good gifts in the spring and summer for friends. She could fill them up with like flip flops and sunglasses and fun little beach pool type items and it was just a really good gift and there you go. So if you're looking for end of the year teacher gifts, that could be really fun. Maybe throw in a bottle of wine. Anyway, okay. So that was number two. And then number three was this guy without this. I just wanted to show you. So as I'm gathering my stuff up for the reward style conference, this is one of the bags that I'm taking with me. Um, and just to make it a little more fun and fancy looking, um, I this is old. I think this is from Loft or Ann Taylor, one of the two. I'm just gonna tie it around one of the handles, maybe just in a bow. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole wrap thing. We'll see. Anyway, really fun idea to make this neutral thing go with whatever, you know, just tie it into your outfit a little bit more. I'm wearing it with a blue dress, so. Blue and white dress, actually. So that'll work quite well. Next are the two shoes I mentioned that probably should have gone under clothing, whatever, I don't know. So the first one is actually, I have it on my foot right now. It is the Sam Edelman flats, which I incorrectly described as an H in my previous video. I guess they're technically E's for Sam Edelman. Um, I'm going to go get a pedicure after this actually. So perfect for that. But they're just those shoes that they're nicer than flip-flops. They're not plastic. If you're throwing them on to go to the store to run errands, whatever, they do have some nice padding in there. They're comfortable. I really like this particular color. It goes with everything um, I'm wearing. You can't see, but I'm wearing gray joggers and then those shoes. It all goes together. They do come in a ton of other colors though, if you are interested in checking those out. And then the last item of accessories, that's really another pair of shoes that I just showed you are these Madewell sneakers. They're just, I love that they taper. I, they run a little narrow. I do have wide feet and they fit just fine, but they just don't look like clumpy, clunky gym shoes. These are more like a nice walking shoe. So still loving these from Madewell. And then the last category is lifestyle. Like I said, just random stuff that doesn't fit anywhere. The first being the book that we chose for book club, which is The Deep End. We had a great book club discussion. If you missed it, I will link it here and put it a link in the description box as well. We have talked about a book for April. Um, I'm on the fence about it, be not the book, but because April and even May and June are kind of crazy, end of the year school stuff, graduating senior, tons of stuff, Fiesta. I have four trips planned that I know of in the next few months. So it's gonna be really hard for me just to get my regular videos up, let alone do a book club video. We also talked about, should we do it Facebook Live instead of YouTube Live? I am going to put the name of the book we're thinking about talking about and um, the link to my Facebook group, the book club Facebook group, and then I'll put a poll there. And I should say, getting back on track to the book, The Deep End, it is part of a series. I think there's seven or eight books in the series. So everyone has been saying that they're loving the whole series. So if you're looking for some fun reads, that'll take up some of your time with seven or eight books, give that series a look. Okay, number two on the lifestyle category was the Swiss Gear Spinner Suitcase. It's my hard-sided suitcase that um, they used to carry at Target. Now I can only find, I think, on Amazon. It's a great price point for what it is. You don't have to run out and get the Away suitcase or any of the cool influencer suitcases. This one is fabulous. I am taking it with me 
to, at least I'm planning on packing that one to go with me to reward style conference. I'm taking a few suitcases. There's a lot of outfit changes and it's nuts. But yeah, two suitcases for three days away, four, four. In any event, if you are planning on doing some traveling, you need a new suitcase. I cannot recommend this one enough. It's been through wars. It's held up well. I love it. It spins very nicely. It's a great size. There you go. Okay, number three, referencing sheets that I didn't like. These are the um, Target Threshold brand performance sheets. I had recommended the Amazon sheets that so many people love that I ordered two packages. Maybe shouldn't have recommended it until I tried them myself, but I thought over a thousand plus excellent reviews. Well, seems like it's 50-50. Half of you love, well, more than half of you love them because that was on favorites from that month. But then I personally like the crisp clean feeling of a sheet more than a microfiber sheet. So a lot of you recommended the threshold one and I love it. And apparently so do a lot of you because it's number three on the list. I got mine in navy in case you're wondering. And there will be a master bedroom reveal as soon as I finish getting all the stuff put together for it. I'm not rushing and just buying things just to throw it in there. I really am trying to take my time and only get stuff I really want or it's meaningful to me. So I'm still working on the artwork as we speak. Hang on, hang in there, it's coming. Okay, number four, I don't have any more to show you. I do need to go pick up some myself. It's the This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. If you wanna train your body to go to sleep at night as soon as your head hits the pillow, you have to try this spray. I've tried the Bath and Body Works version. I've tried a bunch of other versions. This one, I don't know what's in it that makes it so special. It's amazing. Give it a try. I wanna hear back from you. Let me know how it's worked for you. It's just, don't sniff it if you don't wanna be sleepy because it's like, out. And the last thing, it seems like this is a hot ticket item, especially if you have teenagers, are phone charger cables, lightning cables. We go through them like this, whether it's because my kids take them to a friend's house, leave them there, I don't know where they go, or they break occasionally. Even the really, really good ones don't seem to last very long. So I just buy them in bulk, so to speak, from Amazon. I get the same package. I've tried a few brands. This one seems to last long as it comes, I think it's a five pack. There's a couple three, maybe one three foot long, some six foot long ones, and a 10 foot long cord. They come in other, all kinds of colors. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for lightning cables, I can't really recommend anything for non iPhone, sorry, but if you're looking for some, Amazon is definitely the place to go and you all seem to need them as much as I do. So I'll put that link in the description box as well. So those were your viewer favorites, your picks from beauty, clothing, accessories, lifestyle, mostly shoes and handbags. Gotta love that from March. So I cannot wait to see what you pick from April. There's a lot of content coming your way. Coming up is going to be, in no particular order, what I wore to the Reward Style Conference. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, my picks for the Sephora sale that's coming up this April for VIB. So if you're not a Sephora VIB member, I'll put that link below as well. Um, there's a, I think I'm gonna do a dress barn try on this month. There's just, there's a, you know, the usual fun stuff and, and then some. So anyway, please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all that. Thank you as always for using my links. I know you have options for when you shop and that you continue to choose to use mine it means a lot to me. It means that you trust my input. So that's something I very much treasure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sitting through another video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.